in this lesson we're going to take a look at scale drawings. Scale drawings is specifically using proportions to make things bigger or make things smaller. In any scale drawing you could take an object and enlarge it, but again not just making it bigger, making things in relationship the same size. Imagine a Word document where I zoom in or zoom back out. Things stay in relationship to where they were. So for instance, if I would take a smaller picture and enlarge it, if this was a certain distance, the eyes were a certain distance from the top of the head, and I would zoom in on it to make it look bigger, the eyes would stay in proportion. Hopefully the eyes would not be way up here. That wouldn't make a lot of sense if I would zoom out and the proportion gets lost. So the idea behind scale drawings is that things get either enlarged or shrunk in the right proportion that it looks the same. Likewise, I can take a bigger object like the actual United States and shrink it down to the picture of a map so that it is in proportion to what it really should be in real life. Dealing with any scale drawing, making something bigger proportionately or smaller, we'll use proportions, we'll solve them the same way. The biggest challenge becomes the setup. In order to make our lives easier, we're always going to start with our blank proportion. The scale is always going to go on the left side. Now, what the scale is, the scale tells us, excuse me, the scale is the ratio that tells us how the two items are related, the small item and the big item. What is the relationship? In this example, we're going to start looking at the easiest scale that we're used to is using a map. The scale we're going to use is this, 7 centimeters on the map is equal to 450 miles in real life. So again, to try to keep things uh, similar or regimented throughout, we're going to do the scale always goes on the left. 7 and 450 have to go on the left. Now, in order to make it even more simple for us, we're going to always take the small number to go on top, or the small two pieces of this. Which one would go on paper? In this case, the 7. 7 centimeters represents uh, the smaller picture. You can put labels to help yourself line things up. 7 centimeters equals 450 miles in real life. The question here says, what would 30 centimeters on the map be equal to? So then, in order to figure this out, 30 centimeters is the paper measurement, or the smaller of the two items that I have. 30 has to match up with the same label. 30 centimeters would go here. I do want to know how many miles this is, so where it says miles, I don't know, so I'm going to put X. I still have kids that continue to want to work sideways. Okay, how many sevens go into 30? And then work from there. That only works in a couple occasions. Cross multiplying or cross products will work every single time, no matter what the numbers are. Take your calculator, multiply. 30 times 450, 7 times x. 7 times x is 7x. Clear calculator. 30 times 450 is 13,500. 13,500. So cross products first. Step one, cross products. Step two, I have a multiplied equation. I need to get x all by itself. I need to get rid of a multiplied seven. How do I do it? Multiply by the reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of seven? No, it's not the opposite of 7, it's not negative 7, it is 7 over 1 flipped. 1 times 7, 1 times 7. Any easy reducing? Nah, it doesn't look like it. So I'll type it in. I still have my answer from the first one, 13,500 times 1 ABC7 equals. And I get this big long decimal because the calculator converted it down for me. What I'm going to do is take and round to the nearest whole number. 1,920 uh, would round to 9 miles. It was 8.5, so I'm going to round it up to 9. 
put a box around it. I did round to the nearest hole. So I can't leave a regular equal sign here because I rounded. What I'm going to do is put a wavy equal sign. That shows that it's approximate. A wavy equal sign means it's approximately equal to. So this becomes the general idea with scale drawings, whether I make something bigger or smaller. Scale, take the two numbers that are related. Uh, smaller number, the paper number, what you would draw on the paper compared to the bigger number, the real life measurement. Once that's set up, take your missing number, fill it in with the matching labels, solve normally, cross products first, multiply by reciprocal second. Now let's take a look at a few examples. Okay, let's take a look at two examples that we'll be working with in class. One is, how do people make blueprints of something, a real structure, like a floor plan of a house? We're going to look at a very simple structure. This is the floor plan of a house. Us as a bird looking down at the top of a house. The house is a big rectangle. It's 25 feet long, 12 feet across. I'm going to put a single mark to represent feet, a single mark to represent feet. Somebody tells me that I need to make a scale drawing, a smaller picture of this, but it has to be in the right proportion. So what they're saying is three-fourths inches, two marks is inches, equals nine feet of real life. So my smaller number, it becomes my paper number, the number that ends up on the paper, and then this is my real life number. Okay. So what we're going to do is set up our blank proportion. Something equals something. Remember the scale wants to go on the left hand side. So take my relationship. Three fourths equals nine. Three fourths equals nine. Top number is the paper number. What actually gets drawn on the paper. The bottom number is my real life number. So what we want to do is figure out what these two measurements should be if I would draw them on paper. The answer is not 25 because that's the real life measurement, 25 feet. So I have to figure out where does 25 go? Well, this is the paper, this is real life. So 25 goes on the bottom. 25 there, I don't know what the paper measurement is. So I'm ready to solve. Cross products, 9x equals... Type in 3ABC4 times 25 equals 18 and 3 fourths. I'm going to leave that on my calculator screen because I'm going to use it right away. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the number beside the variable. Reciprocal of 9 is 1 over 9. Reciprocal of 9 is 1 over 9. I must do it to both sides. Nines cancel out, x equals 18 and 3 fourths is already on my calculator times 1 ABC9 equals, and my answer is 2 and 1 twelfth. So what this means is I need to figure out on paper 2 and 1 twelfth of an inch when I go to draw it. 2 and 1 twelfth of an inch. Okay. So if I would draw this, it would be 2 inches plus just a little bit more. To figure out the 12, I would do the same thing. And ask yourself, if I make another proportion, what's the only thing that the 12 goes in for? Which number gets replaced by the 12? The answer is the 25. Hopefully I get my answer that's smaller than this because then I would draw that. And I should end up with the same exact shape, but smaller. By the way, two shapes that are the same shape, but different sizes, we know are called similar figures. 
The second example I'm going to take a look at is, again, working with the map. The scale we're given is 5 centimeters equals 300 miles. So I'm going to set up my blank proportion. The scale must go on the left side. Why? Just to keep it standard. That way everyone's paper would look the same. You could do it other ways, but if we keep it standard, we'll have a better consensus of the answers uh, in miles. So the question could be either they could say, okay, how many centimeters should this many miles be or vice versa? Uh, let's take this. What about 21 centimeters? What is 21 centimeters equal to in miles? 21 centimeters would match up here. X would go down here. Cross products, 21 times 300. 6,300. This side, 5 times x is 5x. Multiply by the reciprocal. Tell me right now what the reciprocal should be. Yeah, 1 over 5. 1 over 5. I still have my answer in the calculator, 6,300 times 1, ABC5 equals 1260. So again, check my answer would be miles, would go here. Two different examples of using proportions to do scale drawings, making something bigger or figuring out what a larger picture would be. That's it.